Welcome to my library. Today I'm going to do a book review of My Mother's Daughter by Perdita Felician. Today I'm going to try to do this book review in five minutes or less. First I'm going to tell you what the book is about, why I liked it, why you may or may not like it, and then we'll go from there. Hopefully you'll be reading or moving on to a another book but I highly recommend this one of course. So My Mother's Daughter is both a memoir of the mother and the daughter. So Catherine and Perdita Felician. So Catherine was born in St. Lucia, which is in the Caribbean. And so Catherine was born and grew up and she kind of hit a wall when it came to like opportunity. So she was working, 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 and then ended up being invited to work for a family in Canada as a, um, as a domestic worker, basically, um, taking care of the kids, cooking, cleaning, you know, all these different things. And then she ends up giving birth to Perdita. And the story overall is about a few different things. Number one, it's about Catherine trying to provide for her family. Um, and it kind of shows how women, I think it shows really how women from St. Saint, Saint Lucia or the Caribbean or like there's some, there's a lot of stories about why women why people leave their various countries and come to places like canada america europe you know things like that and i think this is an accurate example of why they do that because it's not really because oh i just want to go there it's because i'm trying to have these opportunities to take care of the people i love but also it shows like what they specifically have to do to survive and it's not this is not an easy read at all it was quite emotional so there was there's that part about her trying to find work keep work and especially what happens when that work is tied to her like status in the country and being able to stay in the country and then two the relationship she has it talks about um there's a lot of there is domestic violence and abuse and you're kind of through the eyes of perdita living through it perdita felician is a world champion and olympic hurdler and she tells the story of how she ended up where she is and she almost didn't become a, a track star she almost gave it all up to help her mom and i really really loved this book and the way she wrote it so there is talk about domestic violence homelessness um citizenship racism racism in canada which this i think this is the only book i actually have that's by a canadian author um but that's something I don't think I've ever really like you know you know about it you really read about all the different terrible things especially this year I really learned a lot about it but I feel like I haven't read about it really that much like it's kind of something that a lot of people assume doesn't exist so this hearing Perdita's perspective was very very interesting yeah you learn what mothers do to um do what's best for or at least try to do what's best for their children and it's like I mean that's it's hard <laughs> so I really enjoyed this book for not only Perdita is such a great writer she's a broadcaster in you know now after retiring from track and field so you get her mother's story first and then you get Perdita's birth in her childhood trying to find stability in her father figure and just in having a home and and where where in finding a home in the, whatever country that is and then the next half is her journey as an athlete which is really funny honestly because you know she almost didn't become an athlete and then she ends up becoming a world champion and olympic hurdler like i think it's great so and then you in then you learn more about you know that journey and into the you know college and as an elite level um, track and field star. So I really think this book is well written. It's my favorite ever. So it's definitely one of my favorite books of the year, but it's my favorite like athlete memoir because it's the most honest book. I highly recommend it. The only concern I have is if you have like triggered by being immersed in scenes about like domestic abuse or even just dealing with the like what in whatever country the immigration system like she's such a good writer when she takes you there if those are some situations that you are just it's really hard for you to read i definitely will warn you about that because she really takes you into her life but 
yeah i really highly recommend this book that's not really only concerns i have for um reading it but i really highly recommend this book book and proceeds go to the homeless shelter that her and her family stayed in um while they were without a home so yeah i highly recommend it purchase uh, proceeds go to a good cause and yeah my mother's daughter a very 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 good book and i hope you end up at least giving it a chance because i do think it is worth it so that's it for this review let me know if you have read it if you have interest in reading it and i'll see you in my next video